Welcome back to This Week in the Garden. I'm Rex Sharwood, nursery manager here at Rogers Gardens. This week I'm uh, proud to show off the new color garden that we've completed here at Rogers. I'm going to talk in particular about a few of my favorite plants and a couple of which that I've trialed in my own garden. Let's take a look. So the first plant we're going to take a look at is one of my all-time favorites for winter color. It's called Anemone Mona Lisa. This plant makes a great cut flower. Each stem will get about uh, up to 18 inches long and it's a repeat bloomer. So each individual plant will produce up to 20 flowers. This is just a great one to brighten up the winter landscape and it's nice to be able to bring the blooms inside as well. Now down here in the garden we've comboed these with this little primrose yellow pansy and it's really a nice contrast between the dark blue of the anemones. Also for a little bit of contrast we've got this helichrysum. This particular variety is called limelight. Now this one's a vigorous grower. We'll have to be keeping this one a little bit trimmed in the garden. Uh, but in your home landscape, each one of these plants can spread out about three foot wide and it really brightens up the garden. So these next plants we're going to take a look at are the uh, Sinetti series Paracallus. They call this a re-blooming Cineraria. Uh, and I'd heard a lot about this plant, so trialed it out in my own garden last year. This was a wonderful plant. I got about three bloom flushes out of it. Uh, the plants themselves will get about two feet wide, two feet tall, and just get absolutely covered in blooms. Got a lot of compliments from my neighbors on this one. And then the foundation of the garden right here is a plant called Pittosporum Golf Ball. This is a great compact Pittosporum that was introduced a few years back. Uh, the plants will get about three foot tall and three foot wide, but can be hedged or uh, trimmed regularly to keep a nice compact shape. It's got that great glossy green foliage with a dark stem. Makes for a nice backdrop to all the color. Makes the color really pop. So check back soon for another video. We're going to be discussing some of the other plant material that we've used up here in this garden. And I would highly encourage everyone to come down and see it in person. You really have to be here to appreciate it. We'll see you again soon. Welcome back to This Week in the Garden. Again, I'm Rex. Uh, there you go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to get this done quickly. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs>